This is an American dog tick, adult, fully engorged, final stage. This tick is a common parasite that can be found on your dog. This tick is the animal vector for zoonotic infections such as tularemia and Rocky Mountain fever. The tick loves tall grass and pasture because of the humidity created by the vegetation. The tick cannot live well in mowed short grass due to the dryness. In this video, we are removing an American dog tick from a four-month-old puppy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Sit. Oh, you're learning so fast. Hey, okay, our adorable four-month-old Bordeaux puppy has a giant final stage engorged dog tick on his ear. If you haven't seen these things, they're giant and disgusting and fat, and we're going to take a look at it. But the first thing I want to show you is these ticks are actually painful for the dog. Watch when I try and touch it or look at it, how the poor puppy responds. Hey buddy, let's see it, let's see it. Is that it? Oh, oh, we'll get it, we'll get it. Is that it right there? Can you see that? Get a close up. So that's a common type of dog tick. We're gonna remove this in just a few minutes. And then I think that's one of one, hopefully. All right, let's get started. All right guys, we're gonna look close up at this tick one more time. Hey buddy, come on. You can see right there, there's the American dog tick and we are going to remove it. You always remove the tick with uh, tweezers. Uh, that way you can reduce the chance of the, the mouth parts getting stuck in there. And do you know how we can tell it's an American dog tick and not a Lone Star tick or another kind of tick? Because if you look really close, you can see it's wearing a MAGA hat. Oh boy, he's not gonna like this. Buddy, we gotta get this guy out of here. And Allie, make sure you zoom in a little bit. Can you see the tick good? Oh. Buddy, I know it hurts. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. Let's get this thing removed, okay? I'm gonna have to give you the goat hold right get on top of you. Okay. So, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> buddy, buddy, buddy. Got the tweezers. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, buddy, buddy, I want to check and make sure we got enough of it. Where'd it fall to? Did you guys see it? Okay, we determined we were able to get the tick out, but um, the, the poor dog, there's a little cyst there underneath the skin. But if you look right here, the tick is gone and we got the head out. And, but the fluid in there is still causing a little pain. So we're just going to give him a nice hot tick bath and maybe uh, look at this in a couple days and then maybe drain it in a couple days if it doesn't go down. Just let me know when you start. We're gonna record. Oh, I did. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Okay, you can let it roll. Okay, well, we got the tick out and we're gonna go on a big hike with both dogs, see what we can find, and then give him his medicinal flea tick bath. And that will wrap up a fun day for this Borador. We ended the day by giving Pepper a nice flea and tick shampoo. We use the Hertz Flea and Tick Shampoo that you can get at any grocery store or pet store. It works really well and it kills them all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like something, send us a comment if you like our video journal of dogs, wildlife, farm animals, and other random stuff. Thank you.